to get things started with Mapbox.js. So firstly, we would need the app Visual Studio code to um, to write our coding. So for to get it started, I think we need to create like a new folder. So just create a new folder, and you can put um, any other relevant uh, file into that folder. So let code it map. Assemble. And then you can just drag it inside the, the explorer in the app. Yes, I trust. And then you create a new file and call it index HTML. So the HTML end part will be the one that can create like a web page. So you need an extension called Live Server. So I already installed it, but if you haven't, you can install one. So it will help us to open the web web page. So you can see here it gonna open a web page so our web page is brand new oh, with the high that I wrote before so here's how to display a map on a web page mm, let's go to mapbox.js and this one this the one the below the ducks mapbox so mapbox.js help you to create like a web page with a map that can enhance um, interactivity between user so I'm gonna find like an example that we can work with you can see started with so let's get started with um, display a map on the web page so this is sample here. I'm gonna show you guys how to add a add a map into into your into your script. So I will copy the script there, and then I'm gonna put it into Visual Studio Code, like the the script that we have in the Visual Studio Code. Then when you click the format document, when you right click and then click the format document, it gonna show you um it gonna rearrange like, the the script for you. Yep. So with our script here we can see it it display here. So for the access token, uh it is like a um your individual token when you create a mapbox account you can go into your account and find that and then when you sign into mapbox it will automatically uh put re replace the mapbox access token um like the placement with your actual um access token here you will need that before you uh you 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 can use this so first we need the container it's called map and then we have the div uh the div is like the it's like what display on your web page and you you will remember to set the top and the bottom to zero and the width is 100 percent so it can display like full screen the center is when you um when you reload the web page it will automatically goes back into that point uh, like if you move somewhere and, and then when you reload the web page it will automatically goes back so there is a web page to help you with the um, uh the longitude and latitude which is the location helper is for Macbox as well so um you guys can see the uh the point in the middle when you you need to go on uh, you choose a point from the map 
and then it will, it will automatically um show you the longitude and latitude and also the the zoom distance the zoom scale so then i will do full screen as an example so we just copy and paste the center and the zoom into this one um so um i think i forgot to uh, remove the bracket so i currently have um double bracket here so i need to remove one Oh, when you when you click Control S, what which is safe, it will automatically re reload the web page for you. So now we have the full screen area as the starting point for our map. And one more thing is that you can choose the map box style. Uh, it has some um, some uh, some examples here but you can do your own style where with mapbox studio and then you just copy the link of your mapbox style into this you just uh, type in style and then add the link into it and then it will uh, change your style oh, i forgot the comma yeah. 